the call of the warrior. Claim the honor to your family. In legend, the Fakiri are an army of the damned. Their return heralds the rise of their leader from the depths of Grethor. And if Mola returns to the realm of the living, he will rule an empire of blood for a thousand years. I did not take such things seriously until a Fakiri invader nearly killed me in battle. Now they have my full attention. I intend to make them regret it. Speak to the law singers outside the Great Hall. Try to find some facts within the ancient myths. Perhaps you can discover what motivates these demons and where they will strike next. Serve the Empire well. Do you wish to hear tales of the Empire, the Fakiri? Like many others, I thought they were the stuff of legends. That has changed. We all know the stories. How the Fakiri came forth from the darkest depths of Grethor itself to do the bidding of Molor. How they raised the land, and how Kalis the Unforgettable put an end to their reign of terror. But now, I must wonder, are there truths hidden within the legends? For some time, there have been those among us who believe the Fakiri were more than a myth. It was not a popular belief. The discovery of the Sword of Kalis gave strength to those believers, however. For if the great weapon of the First Emperor was real, could not his great foes have been real as well? The invasion of this great city by the Fekiri Horde will no doubt give them even greater cause. We must study the Fekiri lore from the time of Kalis, only this time with a more open mind. My father, Tehran, is an expert on the sword of Kalis and the facts and fables that surround it. You would do well to speak with him on the matter. Hey! Do you wish to... Do you wish to hear a tale of Kalis? I weave tales of glory and honor. Ah, yes. Many Klingons turn their thoughts to the weapon of the first emperor these days. A Fakiri invasion would do that, I suppose. Put simply, there is no greater weapon in our history. With the sword of Kalos in my hand, I could face an entire fleet and win. And now, it seems we have need of such a mighty blade once more. For some time, the monks of Boreth safeguarded the weapon. Until the coming of the Herc several thousand years ago. They took the blade from us and it was thought to be lost forever. There are some who say that Dahar, Master Kor, and Worf found the blade. And yet, when I speak of it to Worf, he turns away without a word. Hmm. The son of Moog is here now. He is a stubborn man, but he always strives to do the right thing for the Empire. And the Empire needs the Sword of Kalis now. Perhaps more than ever before. Ask him yourself. Perhaps you will succeed where I have failed. I leave tales of... Greetings. How may I... Fight with honor. You speak of the Fekiri. The Fekiri share many characteristics with our ancient enemies. However, one of the things I learned during my time in Starfleet 
was that things are not always as they seem. It may be that the true enemy is hiding behind legends until they choose to reveal themselves. That is a task for the lore singers. Suffice it to say that it has power beyond that of a normal weapon. Not only can it rend flesh and bone, it can control hearts. To my regret, I found that I was not up to the task of being the sword's master. This is a story that I am loath to share without good reason. However, I know you to be honorable and a friend to the House of Martok. I do not believe you would ask without reason. I accompanied Daha Master Kor and Jadzia Dax on a search for the Sword of Kaelas. Kor had uncovered information during his time as a diplomat to Vulcan that he believed would lead us to the sword's location. He was correct. We found the sword on a Herc world in the Gamma Quadrant. The sword brought the dark sides of our natures to the surface. We argued over who was to keep the blade. I might have even done the unthinkable and killed for the blade, if Jadzia had not been there to stop me. Kor and I realized that the Sword of Kaelas was too powerful for any man to wield. It had divided us. It would have divided the Klingon people as well. We agreed, for the good of the Empire, to transport the blade into deep space. If Emperor Kalis had not been successful, it would be there still. The Emperor contacted me recently. The course of his ship would put him in the Senex system now. Be wary. The Breen have overrun that system. Kalis is an inspiration to us all, but as a modern warrior, you may find that he needs assistance. However, if you seek the Sword of Kaelas, you must find the Emperor. Report! What have you learned? Hmm. I thought his obsession with the weapon was... risky. But I did not expect him to actually find it in the void of space. And so I agreed to his plan to search for the blade. I should have known better. He is Kalos. Achieving the impossible comes naturally to him. It will not be a good thing if the Emperor's obsession with a relic gets him killed. Imperial intelligence has informed me that the Fakiri conducted several raids on classified data systems during the attack. They were particularly interested in intel on the weapon and the location of Kalos. If they aren't sending a fleet to intercept the Emperor, I'll eat a plate of cold dead gah. Agreed. Return to your ship and make your way to the Sanic system at maximum warp. Hopefully, you will make it there before the Vakiri. Sensors are picking up readings of a destroyed Klingon fleet in the area, but there is one remaining ship trying to get a fix on it. It is the Emperor's ship! We are not too late. Attempting to hail them now! Come to join the fight, have you? Good! There's no better companion in battle than a Klingon warrior! We were ambushed on our way back to Kronos. I must warn you, as strange as it may sound, we are fighting the Fakiri. Proud demons! I thought I had rid the Empire of them forever. A mistake I will gladly correct now. More of them are inbound to my position. See if you can intercept them while we get my ship back to a battle-worthy state.
We cannot let these demons destroy it! are clear. That was the last of them, at least for now. Incoming hail from the Emperor's vessel. You have fought well, warriors. There is more to be done, however. The Fakiri managed to beam over several boarding parties during their last attack. I would be honored if you would join me in purging them from the decks of my vessel. Very well. Beam aboard with your best warriors and put an end to these dishonorable creatures. Kapla! Kia! Oh, this cold. Life support must be failing. I'm picking up numerous Fakiri life signs. Looks like they're targeting the crew, working in several critical areas. Indeed. Let's deal with them first. Give the crew the space they need to repair the ship, and then head to the bridge.
other sections and rally defensive. This, there is a good chance the Fakiri do as well. They may strike there next. Let's get down there. We can secure the deck and stabilize the ship's power systems before things go from bad to worse. Support and main power are on the verge of collapse, and we will need their help to stabilize those systems before it's too late.
is now back online and fully functional. Ship sensors indicate that the remaining Fakiri boarding parties are attempting to take the bridge. You must stop them from taking the ship and the Emperor. The bridge will not last long without our assistance. We must head there at once. Made it! Good! Now we shall fight side by side! As warrior sword! Ha! I fought for Kiri thousands of years ago, and they have not grown any stronger! Crush the Fakiri! Drive them before you! Hear their lamentations all the way back to Grethor! <laughs> We defeated the Fakiri before, and we shall do so again. No demon can stand against a heart that beats with honor. A glorious fight! Come, I would speak with you, Ori. You are a stout warrior and a fine commander. Truly, you know what it means to be Klingon. There will be time for songs of honor and blood wine later, warriors. Now, now we must discuss the treachery of the Fakiri. Though we still live, the enemy has taken something most dear from us. The sacred blade I forged long ago in the fiery depths of Tristok. The same. While we fought the Fakiri here, their fellows managed to breach the chamber where the blade was stored and escape before my warriors could stop them. Before you arrived, Dajar taunted me with his plan. Unwise, but the Fakiri have always been arrogant braggarts and fools besides. They to besiege the monastery on Boreth and offer my weapon in ritual sacrifice to secure the rise of Molor from Grethor. Indeed. For my part, I must go to Boreth and put an end to this wickedness. I will not allow Molor to return, even if I have to kill every Fakiri in the galaxy to do so. And you... Will you join me in the fight against these demons? Your report is 
disturbing. The Fakiri nearly killed Kalos and stole his blade. This must be avenged, and soon. The people of the Empire must believe in the strength and honor of their Emperor. I am placing you under the direct command of Kalos. Do whatever is necessary to reclaim what was taken from him. If you can bring an end to the Fakiri, do so. War with the Federation is enough of a challenge. War with the hordes of Grethor may prove to be our undoing.